And greetings, everyone, from a delightful South Florida evening on this Sunday, April 7th. I am Resplendent Seraph, and today we're going to be playing another game uh, that I haven't played in at least a little while. This one I have played somewhat recently, although I've literally never beaten this game. <laughs> and I've tried. I, I have, I've tried a few times. Uh, but... So the first time I got to the very, very end boss of this game, I was playing on mouse and keyboard. And so that adds a little bit of difficulty to the game. So this time I'm going to be playing with a gamepad, and I suspect that will improve my odds. But following up on our successful completion of East Book 1 and 2, today we are playing this. East 3, Wanderers from East, but we're going to be playing the remake that's on Steam. Uh, East, the Oath and Felgana. And uh, as we get ready for that, uh, so it's funny you were talking about the Eclipse tomorrow, uh, Warhammer. Uh, I actually really thought about going to see the Eclipse, but to really do that, I would have had to at least make preparations like a month ago. And I still wasn't sure if I was going to be okay to make it, because at that point, my my the incision was infected. At this point, I'm, I mean, now I'm over the infection, so I'm good, but I didn't I didn't know a month ago how fit I would be to travel in any way, shape or form, whether or not I wanted to travel by plane or whatever. And I could have driven to uh, my mom's house in Pennsylvania and I wouldn't have had to drive all that far to see the eclipse from from there. But um, my mom's house in Pennsylvania is not in the path of totality. So either way, I would have had to travel even up there. So it's like, all right, do I really want to travel to then travel or do I just bite the bullet and travel? Um, and so ultimately I just decided, you know what, with all this going on, I'm, I'm not going to do it. Even though I, I would love to see a total solar eclipse at some point in my lifetime, but it just, the stars didn't align, so to speak for this particular trip. And as I looked at the weather report today for what the weather is going to be like tomorrow, I'm seeing cloudy pretty much all along the path of totality except until Vermont. So now I'm just crossing my fingers for everybody who's decided to make the trip and going, please let them see an eclipse. Uh, <laughs> so I, I hope it is not cloudy for you tomorrow, bro. Uh, I, I hope you get to see it. I'm very jealous if you do. We will be getting... So North America is getting two eclipses in 2044 and 2045, which is a damn long time from now. But... The one in 2045 will be going directly over where I live right now. So that's the nice part. If I'm just patient and I live long enough, I'll be able to see the next one. So I'm hoping, again, if there's just a clear sky involved, that I'll be able to see that. But for everybody hoping to see the eclipse tomorrow, I, I hope you have wonderful weather and clear skies. Um, so here's, anyway, here's hoping with that. So, I don't know how many turtles are going to be in this game, bro, so sorry about that. But, uh, but in any event, I am glad you made the stream, and welcome to everybody else lurking. We're going to get rolling here on Oath of Felgana, which is a remake of the classic 1992-93. When did this game come out? I'm not playing this version. 1991. All right, so this came out the same... All right, so East Book 1 and 2. You know what? This must have come out later in the same year. East Book 1 and 2 must have come out early. Unless it came out in 90. You know, maybe I'll check the... Maybe I'll just check my... Check it downstairs. I feel like East 2... East 3, rather, came out a year after East Book 1 and 2. But in any event... So, not the 91 version. We are playing the Circa 2006, I think, is when this when this came out. And uh, I, I theoretically, we could play a little bit of this just to show you a little bit about what it looks like. But uh, maybe we'll do that a little later. Let's Let's get started here. I hope everybody's weekend is going well. Yes, play East, Oath of Felgana. And Game Capture was capturing it earlier. We're actually going to play this in 21.9 resolution. Or in 21.9 uh, scale, so... Yeah, we'll just capture everything. We're not going to do any of the creative resizing we did for East Book 1 and 2. My volume levels look good. That's always nice. All right. Yes, we're going to do a new game. A 
we are going to do, we're just going to do normal. Now, in my experience, the East games tend to be a, a little on the hard side. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh my God, there's a Steam leaderboard. I'll have to check that out. I'm sure there's some crazy, absolutely crazy scores and times. So we are not going to do hard or nightmare. We're just going to do normal. I think that's going to be hard enough. For the most part, I usually play games on the normal difficulty because I figure that's what the game was intended for. And so we're going to we're going to go with that. Watch a little bit of a cinematic and then relearn how to play this because it's been like a year since I played this. Well, at all. Here we are. This is Felgana. I was hoping we'd get here a little earlier in the day, but I wasn't expecting the waters to be so rough. Still, this place does bring back memories. Hard to believe it's really been eight years since I left. It's no opening cinematic. I actually thought there was an opening cinematic for this, but I'm, I must be thinking East 3 uh, for the Turbo Graphics. There's Margo, I always called her Mams, an old gardener. Not to mention Chester and Elena. <laughs> I wonder how they're doing after all this time. Oh man, what the hell happened here? This monument's dedicated to the god of safe journeys. Not a great omen. It's a relic of the old religion from when people believed that spirits existed even in stuff that wasn't alive. I just don't get why anyone would deface it like this, though. I guess maybe the rumors really are true. What was that? It came from over there. Hey, wait up, Adol! Uh, looks like the music might be a touch loud. I can turn that down in settings, though. Damn, left behind again. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. What the hell are monsters doing in Falcana? Yeah, it's the music volume. It's not too loud, not the voice volume. So I'll be turning down the music volume once we get uh, back to the options in game. Monsters? Here? What are they doing this close to town? Chester? And of course, it tells me these things, but it doesn't necessarily tell me what the buttons do. So we're just going to try to remember and find out. Oh, that came back to me pretty quick. Never mind. <laughs> uh, what is boost mode? How is it used? All right. I guess I should do that when I do that, okay. Uh, okay, pretty cool with the turbo mode thing. Right, pretty money. Thank you. Excuse me. Thank you very much for saving me. You're a traveler, aren't you? Um, are you hurt at all? Hey! <laughs> As usual, Dogie. Are you all right at all? This part I do remember being pretty funny. Right when you ran off, I got attacked by monsters too. I'd like to know what the hell those things are doing in Felgana. Whoops. Excuse me. I guess they must have been after you. Are you okay, miss? You don't look like you're hurt at least. Huh? What's wrong? Something on my face? Am I, like, covered in monster gore? <laughs> we should probably get moving and head to town before we're attacked again. I can't say I recognize your face, but you've got to live in Redmond, I figure. Togi? Uh. I knew it. I must be dreaming. Togi, you're actually back. What have you been doing all this time? Hey, hold on a second now. You obviously know me, but... Do I know you? How can you even say that? 
You, me, and my brother used to play together all the time when we were kids. Don't you dare tell me you've forgotten. Oh, no way! When I last saw you, you were just a, a skinny little tomboy! Well, that was eight years ago. I'm 17 now. Man, you sure are. God damn it, Japan. I'm sorry, where are my manners? It's nice to meet you. And, again, thank you very much for your help. My name is Elena. Elena Stoddart. Ah, uh, here's the opening cinematic. And this is... This is a reference back to the opening cinematic of East 3. With the columns and all that. So here's hoping I can actually beat this game this time. We'll just let this play. Yeah, there's that opening cinematic I was looking for earlier. Well, I already polished off my water. Elena, where have you been? You had me worried sick, staying out so late. I'm sorry, Mr. Gardner. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. I just... Uh, it's okay, Elena. As long as you're all right, we'll pretend this never happened. So, who are your two friends? I don't believe I recognize either one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Look a little closer. You'll get it in a second. Huh? Hey there, Gardner! Still standing at the gate like always, I see. Wait! Dogi is... Is that really you? <laughs> yeah, I guess I've been a little out of touch. <laughs> Sorry. My favorite little troublemaker has come home. Where have you been all this time? And what have you been up to? Well, you know, wandering, killing monsters, saving the world. The usual. Anyway, I brought a pal of mine along. Go on, Adol, introduce yourself. So the East chronology ends up being a little odd. I think by this time, they've... Again, I'd also have to remember memories of Celsetta better, but the actual order, the, as far as chronological order, it's East Origin, 
then East Book 1 and 2, then East 4, Memories of Celseta, and then this game, East 3. So technically, when Doki says saving the world, I think they've done that twice now. Although I don't remember if the world was one of the things in play for Memories of Celseta. Um, number one, I haven't actually beaten the game. I'm just dealing with what, what conversations I've had, but I don't I don't recall if the stakes were that high in, in Celseta. Adol introduced himself to Gardna. An adventurer, eh? Well, that's certainly a rarity. But from the looks of that sword on your belt, I can tell you're no amateur. No, he's quite remarkable. I was attacked by monsters just now, and he came right to my rescue. Is that a fact? Hmm. Well then, you have my thanks, good sir. Uh, I'm sorry I wasn't there to help. That's the problem with gate duty. You miss all the real trouble out in the field. Uh, Those were a point worth for. discussing, though. Why are there monsters here in the first place? We'd heard rumors that Felgan has fallen on hard times, but I had no idea it gotten so bad. Yeah, things certainly aren't looking up these days. It's been pretty bad for around a year now. We're rarely visited by anyone anymore as a result. No travelers, no merchants. Man, that sucks. Well, it's getting late. You can tell me all about where you've been and what you've done come morning. For now, you should head on in and get some sleep. I bet you're exhausted after what you've been through. This is the same game engine that Falcom used to build or program the Trails in the Sky games. So if you've played those, a lot of these will look, a lot of the whole art style and some of the stuff here looks really, really familiar. <laughs> this place sure hasn't changed much either. And they never shared any of the assets, but you, you can you could definitely tell it's the same engine. I used to live and work at this inn when I was a kid. I owe Mams a lot for looking after me back then. Hey, Elena, go get Chester, would you? I haven't seen him in so long, and we can't have a reunion party if everyone's not here. I'm sorry. He's not in town right now. What? Oh, no way. Oh, well, what can you do? He's probably pretty busy. I'm afraid I'll be taking my leave for the night as well. My long absence likely had a few people worried, so I really should let them know I'm okay. Yeah, go ahead. We'll be fine here for the night. We're probably gonna hang out a little before we go to bed. By the way, are you and Chester still living with the mayor? Oh, no. He and I have a house on the edge of town now. It's just... Hmm? Something wrong? Oh, it's nothing, really. I guess I'll be off then. It was nice to meet you, Adol, and good to see you again, Dogi. I know you two must be tired from your journey. Please, take it easy and get some rest, okay? She's acting kind of strange. Eh, probably just been a rough day for her. Man, though, she sure has filled out nicely. And she's got that whole childhood friend thing going for her, too. Oh, Dogi. Now, who am I kidding, though? She's gonna fall for you, not for me. That's always how it goes. Uh, let's just get inside. <laughs> it's only their second real, like, true adventure together, and already Dogi knows how it goes. <laughs> Dogi? Well, Margo recognized him instantly. I can't believe it! It's really you! My little nightmares come home! And look at those muscles! You've grown so big! Last time I saw you, you were just a pudgy little brat! <laughs> yeah, it's me. I'm back. You're looking well. You know, I haven't heard a peep out of you since you left. Would it be so much to ask for some kind of contact? A letter, at least, if you couldn't visit. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'ams. 
Well, I always figured you'd do well for yourself. It certainly is nice to see you back safely, though. Yeah, we just won't and mention... you a friend of Doogie's, then? Yep, totally not going to mention that when I met him in East Book 1 and 2, he was, uh, you know, caught up with a whole guild of thieves. Adol gave his name and explained that he had been traveling with Doogie for quite some time. I see. Well, thank you for looking after our little wayward wanderer. It's a little bit of an audio hiccup every so often. Not sure what that is. Unfortunately, you've arrived at a pretty bad time. Lots of unpleasant business going on lately. But still, happy events like these are rare, so I intend to enjoy this while I can. Ma'ams. You two boys must be hungry. Let me fix you up a nice big meal. And you'd better clean your plates if you know what's good for you. Yeah, the opening kind of scenario takes a little while. So then, how is the investigation coming along? You have nothing to worry about, my lord. We've already confirmed their locations. The Tigre Quarry, the Oberns Ruins, and the Sacred Mountains of Elder. All that now remains is to organize the men and begin our search in earnest. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Once I possess what I seek, my might and majesty will be known far and wide. Indeed. Perhaps my homeland could lay claim to all of Europa. <laughs> Either way, this certainly should be an enjoyable undertaking. Wouldn't you agree? In your hands, my lord. I'm certain that dream will become a reality. <laughs> Indeed it will. Indeed it will. I leave the search in your hands. Make certain it continues without interruption. I expect good news forthwith. You do me great honor. I pledge you my success, Lord Maguire. I shall see to it that your faith in me is not misplaced. So Oath and Felgana definitely added a little more story than East 3 had. So Adol, while I'm here, I think I'm gonna swing by the Elder Mountains for a bit to visit my old master. He's the one who taught me everything I know about fighting, back when I was a kid. If anyone would know the reason for all the monsters showing up around here, he'd be the one. I won't be gone long, though. You should relax and tour the town. It's a really nice place. If you have any questions, you can ask Elena. She said her house was on the outskirts of town, so I'm sure it won't be too tough to find. I'm off for now. See you later, buddy! And all the music is basically the same. It's all the same instrumentation. So let's see. Why access the main? Fine. Okay, I have to use the keyboard for that. Fine. All right. So background. Tone. Let's dial that down a little bit. Yeah, that's probably good. Okay, that should be fine. The voice volume seemed fine. Um, but yeah, the, the background music definitely needed to calm down a little bit. So let's, uh, we don't want to load. We want to save. I think I can only save at certain spots worry about that in a minute. Like any good RPG, let's talk to people. Uh, and now this part's not... Some parts are voiced, some parts are not voiced. Uh, the parts that are not voiced, I'll just read. Oh, hey, you're the guy that took the room next door last night, aren't you? You've got some guts, I'll say. Certainly not tourist season in Fulgana right now. Name's Antonio. I'm here in business from the Ramon Empire. This gives you an idea of, you know, the time frame. Although I think this ends up being like an alternate history Earth. A lot of things are spelled a little differently. Have you ever heard of a thing called Ravel Ore? Nope. 
It's a really high quality rock mineral native to this region. And it's also the reason I'm here. All right, so if I find Ravalor, bring it to you. Got it. Talk to this Randolph guy. Thanks to Count McDumbass. I came all the way here from Garmin for no damned reason at all. Hmm? Got something on your mind, Red? You ain't gonna try and make me stop drinking, are you? You better not. This bottle's the only friend I got. You're an adult. Margot told me about you. She's, she says you're a close friend of Dogie's, and an adventurer, no less. Well, you certainly picked quite a time to come to Felgana. Plenty of bad tidings these days. Strange weather's been wreaking havoc on our harvest, and monsters have been running all around all over the place. Nobody knows what's next, and nobody really wants to know. Count yourself lucky that you're just visiting. Thanks. Dr. Mams, good morning. Did you sleep well? I guess Dogie's already going out. Lord knows where. Still can't ever sit still, that boy, even after all these years. He's grown the muscles of a man, but he's still got the head of a hyperactive little brat. True. He hasn't gotten you into trouble during your travels, has he? Well, no, actually. Usually I'm the one getting him into trouble. So, we're in Redmond here. Oh, hello. You're Dogie's friend, right? They said you were a dashing swordsman, but you're even cuter than I expected. I'm sorry we can't... Uh, I'm sorry we can't meet you with bigger smiles. Not only was the harvest awful this year, but our taxes are up again. I don't know how I'm going to keep food on my family's table at this rate. Top it off, the Lord of the Land has ordered the quarry closed indefinitely, so my husband's totally unable to work. It's like our hands are tied here and we're just waiting to starve. Yeah, things are pretty desperate in Redmond as we get here. All right, Ada. What do you want with me, stranger? Please just leave me be. You're too young to have gone deaf. Please, just get out of here. Leave me be. That is distracting. I don't remember that being a problem. I think that's just this particular session of the game. I think once I exit out of it, reload it, that'll be fine. Hey, I found Mr. Red. Amazing. Elena told me your hair was super red like fire, and I didn't believe her, but she was right. You want to play a game with me, Mr. Adol? Daddy's gone to the quarry, and I'm just so bored. I do think there is a game. There is a game that I do play with her. I just don't know what it is right now. Hmm. Oh, hello. You're that swordsman arrived along uh, alongside Dogi, no? The name's Harold, and I'm a local merchant. Pretty good one, too. Redmont is known as the local, uh, is known for a local ore called Raval, and I'm one of the best rival salesmen there is. Or I was, anyway, until all this mess in the quarry came about. The accident, the monsters, the closure edict. Sure would be nice if this could all get settled soon, so I could start making a living again. It sounds pretty tough, everybody. See anything here? I think this is the mayor's house. You in here? Nope. here. Explore these real quick. So, Dogi came back after hearing all the nasty rumors about Felgana, did he? That's all well and good, but he still just up and left us eight years ago. And I don't forget uh forgive and forget so easily. Besides, it's just monsters. In my day, we fought off much bigger beasts using nothing but free branches for fun. Yeah, okay, Lacus. Did you go up and downhill? Did you go uphill both ways to and from school too? Mayor Edgar's got the right idea. He's out at the quarry with my son checking up on some weird monument we unearthed. Not gonna let the Count or a few piddly monsters tell him what to do. No, sir. We miners are tough. We could take care of ourselves. Count McGuire's just being a damn tyrant trying to close the place. Now we have a name for just Count McDumbass. Ah, uh, this is the mayor's house. And of course, nobody's home because he's out at the quarry. Like the lady just told us. So we'll see Elena real quick. She's in here. Should be. Oh, good morning, Adol. Is Dogi not with you today? Adol explained that Dogi had gone to visit his old master in the Elder Mountains. Oh, that's... well... It's not very nice of him, to be honest. <laughs> he hasn't even shown you around yet. But that's Dogie for you. Eight years ago, he suddenly decided he simply had to go on a journey of self-discovery. To become a man, he said. I wasn't fond of the idea myself, but Chester sternly opposed it. The two of them got into quite a scuffle. They did make up right as Dogie was about to leave, though. To be honest, I have something I need to tell Dogie. Remember yesterday, when I said Chester was out of town? Well, 
That's true, but... He actually hasn't been back in over six months. He left a note for me on the day he vanished. It just said, I won't be back for a while. I haven't heard anything from him at all since then. Not a word. I'm not sure how to tell Dogi. After he came all this way... That's a long time. Six months? Sorry. I don't mean to dump all my apprehensions on you. When he gets back, I guess I'll just have to give it to him straight. I'm sure Dogi will take the news well after all he's seen and done with you. As well as he can, anyway. Not often, but it is a little distracting when that weird echo shows up ever so briefly. Oh, hello. I don't believe we've met. Which means you must be Abba, that friend of Dogi's I've been hearing so much about. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Nell, and I'm a devotee of the church. Is it true that you saved Elena from a pack of wild monsters? Words cannot express how thankful we are for that. I've pledged myself to this church for many a year, and have known the Stoddart children since they were very little. They've always regarded me as a big sister to them. Sister with a small S, that is. And I've always regarded them in kind. Which is why traumatic events like last night's unpleasantness affect me so. Oh, you must be Adol. It's nice to meet you. I'm Father Jean-Pierre, pastor of this church. Elena's had quite a lot to say about you. I understand you're the one who saved her when she was ambushed by a pack of monsters. For that, I must truly thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm certain that Elena had her reasons for being out so late. She denied any, of course, claiming it was just a flight of fancy. But I feel there's more to it than that. If I pressure her to tell me things she wishes to hide, though, I can see no good coming of it. Well, you're wise, Pierre. Ah, but I digress. Please forgive me. Now, this is our very first meeting, and here I am, babbling away. May God's blessings be with you in your travels. If anything ever troubles you, always remember, the church's doors are open. Come by any time, day or night. I'm trying to remember the deal with the East religion. Um... I think it's mostly monotheistic, but man, a lot of it escapes me as far as the details. Pickards, which are like these little pig-like uh, animals native to East. We already went in those. Let's take a quick look around Redmond. What? There we go. We found the. How plot. many were there? Uh, I'm not sure, but there were definitely a lot. More than I've ever seen before. Uh, who are you? Adol introduced himself and asked what was happening. M monsters started gushing out of one of the deep mine shafts in the Tigre Quarry. That's east of here. We only just barely made it out of there alive. But Mayor Edgar is still inside. Uh, so do we. Uh, that's the head miner. Asked me to go into town and get some help. Uh, anybody who's willing and able. Dogi could do this job easily, but he left town a short while ago. Probably too far away to track him down now. I can't go myself either since I'm the only one trained in defensive combat around here. I've got to guard the town. At all, I hate to ask, but we could really use your strength. Would you put your adventurous skills to use for us and check out the quarry in my place? Yes, please. It would mean a great deal to me as well. The mayor, Dewey, and even Paul are in grave danger right now. Thank you so much for this. I can't even imagine how to repay you. We're in your debt, Adol. Here, I've got a map of Felgana. You might need it. Yeah, I will need a map. You should also make sure you're well prepared, as it sounds like you'll be fighting some monsters in there. Take this, and use it to get your equipment refined. There we go, we got a piece of Ravalor. Go oh. talk to Adonis, the town's smithy. Tell him I sent you, or he probably won't give you the time of day. He's a stubborn one. But he knows how to pound metal like nobody's business. Your equipment's in good hands with him. 
I do hate asking you to put your life at risk for us, but we need you right now. Show us what you're made of, adventurer. So we go over here. This is what they're talking about. Welcome. Well, well, what have we here? Are you a traveler by any chance? That sword looks like it's seen a lot of action. You should have it fixed up. I don't remember this Cynthia sounding so um and armor, along suggestive. with a handful of our own specially selected curios. So, hey, question. Any idea what's going on outside? I've been hearing one hell of a ruckus from in here. Adol explained the situation in the quarry to Cynthia. Oh my, that's some serious business. You should make sure you're well prepared if you're planning to go to the quarry yourself. The boss is a bit eccentric, but you'll be hard pressed to find a better smithy anywhere else in the world. If you the have any plane. Ravel ore, he can use it to augment the strength of your weapons and armor. My equipment. Welcome. See, oh, I only have 62 gold. Yeah, I can't afford shit. Okay, so I can't buy don't any be a of those stranger. things. Welcome. Well, I could buy an amulet or an illusion mirror, but don't be a stranger. This dude. What do you want? I'm Adonis. I own this shop, and if my appearance hasn't given it away yet, I'm happy to confirm that yes, I'm a smithy. Huh? From the looks of that sword, you know what you're doing, at least. But I make it a rule to refine weapons and armor for people I like, and only people I like. Bold business strategy, Cotton. Uh, let's see how it works out for you. Adol relayed Gardner's message. You serious? Gardner sent you? Guess that means you'll take good care of my work, if nothing else. Well, if Gardner says you're good news, then you're good news. Gotta do what the old guy asks. I can augment your sword, armor, and shield here. Just hand them over, and I'll make them better. Well, if you got enough rubble or for the job, anyway. Monsters often get it stuck in their fur or claws and will drop it when killed. Or sometimes, it's just lying around. Explaining how I'm constantly getting ravel ore from I'll monsters, probably. I'll have to probably. charge you a service fee, too, though, or else Cynthia's gonna put up a fuss like you wouldn't believe. And the price varies per piece, as we've got this whole quality chart system in place. Don't ask me. It was her idea. So, what have you got for me? You're part of my clientele now, Adol Kristen. So feel free to come on by anytime you need work done. Good deal. Let's get what it got for tempered. Me? Let's see. I only have one Ravel Ore. Let's this just upgrade one? the sword. Good to go. Yep. Let's kill things a little faster. Come again. So we got our basic sword, shield, and armor. We'll go outside, we'll save, and then what I think I'm gonna do, so there are little save points here. What we're gonna do, yep, we're gonna overwrite that save. So we're 31 minutes in. Uh, what I think I'm actually gonna do here is we're gonna exit. We're gonna restart the game. Let's exit to Windows. Uh, maybe restarting the game will solve that weird, um, that weird, uh, the weird audio issue. But I need to get some water anyway, and my cat's meowing downstairs. So give me two seconds, everybody. I will be right back uh, with a little bit of water refill, and we'll restart the game. And hopefully, that takes care of our weird, um, that very weird audio issue. It doesn't come up very often, but it's it's enough that it's noticeable. So anyway, here's hoping just restarting the game solves it.
My cat just needed a pet real quick. Probably just meowing to see where I was. Let's go back to in-game. Fire this back up. And with any luck whatsoever, that weird audio thing will not come back. Hopefully I don't have to restart my computer for that. <laughs> because I don't remember that being an issue uh, playing that game on this computer or my home theater PC downstairs. And Redmond, yep. <laughs> yeah, you can tell when I was mostly playing this game back in, uh, I think I played it twice, once in 2012 and one once in 2013. So it's, uh, it's been a while since I've like played this seriously. Jump. That's when you make gold piece. Helps when I also make. There we go. Yeah, you do a lot of damage when you like manage to time that strike down. Anyway, the T Gray the T Gray Quarry is this way, and of course in the original Turbo Graphics version it was just called the T Gray Mine. I don't I can't get that. This. So if I use it, yep, here's where we are. No problem. It's interesting. Oh, right. I'm at full health. That's what those are. So that's pretty neat. Those little things, when it drops that, if I'm injured, I can just pick that up and gain some health. Got it. Cool. That's right. It's one of the ways that you can kind of make it through. Otherwise... So that's another thing that this game does is you get little power-ups as you go along that boost your defense and your attack power and certain other things. And so essentially you get automatic buffs by just killing things. It kind of rewards you for being a very active player. <laughs> You okay there, buddy? Uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> I thought you were a monster. But if you're not a monster, then who are you? And what are you doing here? Adol gave his name and explained that he had come at Ricardo's behest. Oh, so you're the guy Ricardo got, huh? I don't know where he found you, but you sure do look the part. Okay, thank you. You're a lifesaver, you know that? <laughs> uh, the mayor's still down in the tunnel, as far as I can say. Paul's a little different. <laughs> Poor uh, guy. The has been searching around the entrance, mainly, but I guess the mayor got himself stuck farther in. But the last time the boss checked in was a while ago. He hasn't come back for so long. I, I was starting to get worried. I, I sure hope the monsters haven't eaten those two. <laughs> uh, oh, gives me chills just thinking about it. Anyway, uh, I really appreciate you coming. <laughs> Please, find Mayor Edgar and old Dewey and, and bring them out. Alive if you can. I will do what I can, Paul. <laughs> Save so we don't have to go through that whole spiel again. Ah, yes. So the gameplay is pretty, it's pretty, uh, feels pretty comfortable. Uh, it's responsive. Moves around pretty well. All right, I keep forgetting I can use the joystick for this game, but I don't know. Joystick. Let's see. We'll see what Seraph likes better. Whether it's the control stick or the uh, gamepad. I think there are times where I prefer the more granular control over the D-pad. Damn it. Then later. Take it. Way higher level than I think I was supposed to be fighting. 
No good for gaining levels. Thanks to the upgrades, we can now do some damage to him. Yeah, come down here so I can fight. Fuck hard. All right, we're already level. Level, uh. I think level three, right? Whoops, I did not want to do that. So much for that boost attack. Let's see, status. I feel like I should have be able to get a status somewhere. Oh. Right, I didn't... Shit. Pretty cool. We could go in here and get, like, a little... Oh, I didn't even know. I totally didn't realize this was here. No monsters or any of that stuff. I just want to know... Oh. It's only right here. Hey! Well, my raider... Oh, did that... Where did... When... Yeah! I... When did my raid... Why did my raid sound not happen? <laughs> That's... That's uncool. Greetings, Raiders! How are you guys? <laughs> yeah, shout yourself out. Self out. Let's let's cruise over here. Let's take care of it. <laughs> Welcome, Raiders. I'll have to fix that. You know, I was tinkering around with stream elements and I may have broken something. Uh, let's go over here. And uh, yeah, what is going on here? Why do I not have... Where are my alerts? Wait, where are my alerts? Wait, where's my overlay? Okay, there's my overlay. So... Why do I not have... Why do I not... Did I mute my overlay? Yeah, my my alerts did not alert. <laughs> All right, first things first. Let's shout out Kara for the... <laughs> for the raid. I do appreciate that. How was V Rising? Yay for breaking things. Yeah, that I was... I probably broke something when I was tinkering with something here. Um, so let's see. Unhide all. So there's my, all right, well, there's my follower goal, but I don't I got, I don't have audio with that. So what happened to my, that is interesting. So yeah, I wonder how I managed to do that. How did I manage to mute my transitions? That's really annoying. Um, hmm. Video. All right. So, okay. There's the overlay. And, well, okay. Overlay should be active. Huh. Just 10 away. Yeah, we're getting pretty close there. Uh, so, yeah, no, I'm seeing it. It shouldn't be muted. Maybe it just didn't play that one time, but it usually, because it usually does. But I, ha I was, I was in stream elements tinkering with something. Um, because I was trying to get, um, my latest follower down at the bottom. So I must have broken something when I was in there last time. Um, and yeah, I don't need, yeah, there's no audio with the follower goal. So that, that we could rehide. I could hide that. That is not a big deal. So there's that. <laughs> I don't like Kara. It's hey, 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 no rate alert for you, Kara, right? <laughs> oh, good grief. So let's scroll back and set anything that I missed. Uh, let's see, raided, get wrecked, roundhouse kick raid. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I don't think I, I, I don't think I missed that for a long. Yeah, Sarah put a block in just for Kara. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, how do we reverse her raid? <laughs> well, you could go live again, Kara, and I could just raid you. That would be the way to reverse the reverse Uno card raid. Um, you know, let me. Since we're on here real quick, let me just let me just do something really, really fast. I just want to I just want to see something here. Hmm. So how did the rest of V raising go? No, I mean take my raid back. <laughs> I do. I love you guys. I love you guys. So let's see here. I just want to see. Yeah, it worked that time. The simulator worked. So what's going on here? Maybe it just maybe stream elements was just a little sleepy. Watch, I start resuming play and then it and then it procs the raid alert I, like at some point later. So yeah, nothing nothing in theory is broken with it. So I'm um, thinking it's just a fluke that it uh, that it just didn't work this one time. 
there's <laughs> yeah it's just it's just Kara <laughs> right <laughs> I got I got nothing I got nothing I don't know why it's picking on him in particular but whatever um so anyway yeah I'm just playing Oath of Filgana yeah rigged right <laughs> rigged against Terra I think it'll work. You know what? I think we'll just have to do, Kara, the next time you're streaming, you'll just have to make a point to raid me so you hear the sound. It's the only, at least the only explanation that I could think of. But yes, as you have so aptly pointed out, Nikki, uh, and greetings, everybody. You know what? I should probably hear a little to get sexy people. <laughs> uh, you know, if that were true, I would detect no lies. <laughs> True, Nikki's got it. You, Nikki's got you there, Kara. Oh, dude. Oh, goodness gracious. So yeah, despite the fact that we're a little in, we just dealt with some plot with uh, with East. We are playing the remake of East 3, uh, but we're not playing the Turbo Graphics version. We're playing the remake that actually came out for Steam, which even Falcom said is the more canon uh, version because they ended up tidying up the plot a little bit for it. Yeah, we will. I'll do a mod raid on a purpose. <laughs> there we go. Oh, <laughs> I hope not, Kara. I know you're joking. We do appreciate you. Oh, I should probably uh, do a you know, report of this to your channel for scamming raiders. <laughs> but uh, we'll also do a couple other shout outs because he helped me uh, learn a little bit of Overwatch. And so I'll probably end up playing that a little bit. He thinks I'm joking. I hope you're not. Uh, <laughs> we love you, buddy. <laughs> it'd, it'd be lame if one of my own mods, one of my two mods decided to never raid my channel again. <laughs> so I definitely consider Kara a friend of the channel. We, 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 do, we definitely josh each other from time to time. But, uh, and I raid my own hands. <laughs> yeah, right? And since I think he's lurking around, whoops, except I typed it wrong. Use the wrong one. Let's try that again. This time, correct. There we are. <laughs> Delete channel. <laughs> That'd be so fucked up. <laughs> God damn. Uh, I just don't have a drunk rate for you. <laughs> uh, good times. So yeah, we're just getting uh, getting started here. Uh, we just arrived with Dogie to his childhood uh, home, and we talked to a couple of people. He went off to the um, Elder Mountains to find his old master, and in the meantime, I think I did do it. Yeah, I did. I I, I did it right the second time. <laughs> but Ghosty deserves all the shoutouts. <laughs> he can he can have more. <laughs> and so um, so yeah, uh, we're uh. We were just running around Redmond, Redmond, and uh, I gave you the shout out first, didn't I? Let me just make sure I'm not crazy. Let me make sure I'm not crazy. Sure. Yeah, I gave you the first shout out, Kara. <laughs> you were you were too busy giving me shit. You didn't even notice I was. You were the first person that I got a shout out off to. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Oop, every time I flip out away from it, it uh, the sound cuts out. So, uh, <laughs> I don't think we could go this way yet. Uh, so anyway, we're in Redmond, and all of a sudden there's a uh, story about a cave-in. And uh, the villagers ask me to come take a look, because apparently nobody else knows how to use a sword around there. Damn. Now I got some money. These things. These zombie guys. Scary. Let's deal with you first. <laughs> oh, I love the shenanigans. Okay, yep, I can't open this door. Oh, there's that. Let's open that. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, I like money. All right, so now I could actually afford a better sword. But you know what? Let's 
I think we're okay here. We'll just continue on. Not get hit by that. Gonna come down in a second. Or not. Fine. Kill the spider over here. Yeah, it came down. Cool. Come here. Perfect. I'm tired. For... I got my, uh... Got my sassy on. <laughs> oh, shit. That guy just bitch slapped me. That's awful. Yeah, I may not be able to stay here very long longer. I've, I've killed them all. Oh, and they even left blood spatter on there. Yeah, later on we'll be up above and we'll end up falling in that. It's more of like a trap. See, and the more we level up and the more of these boosts we get, the better off we're doing. It's actually making a real difference against those little assholes. Oh, the emote is sexy pants, TS. <laughs> I love it. Sassy pants. Yeah, the graphic designers are gonna... Oh, okay. Right. I need... Okay, so that is a cool item. I'm gonna need that later. But I can't get to it now. And instead of doing only like two points of damage, we're now doing 12. Got him. Okay. Yeah, the, the, the gameplay is kind of coming back to me pretty easily. Actually, those are shorts. <laughs> I like money. I got 500 gold now. I'm sort of doing okay at the moment. As long as Seraph doesn't get himself killed doing something stupid. I think we'll be okay. Because I do remember where the boss is. Got my full health. Let's collect some money. Some buffs. Up. Oh, I'm about to run out of that. But we do get an XP bonus at the moment. Hey, buddy. Who might you be? And what in the world are you doing here? Can't say as I've ever seen you around before. You from Valestine Castle? Adol introduced himself and explained that he had come at Ricardo's behest. Good. Turning down the music definitely made that a little better. When the game first started, the music was washing out the voices a little bit. I see. Well, I'm glad you're here. Probably get away with lowering the background music a hair even more. But what do you guys say? Overwatch stream when? <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, probably at some point this week, Maxi. Um, although what I really should do is just do some uh, co-op versus AI and then some practice to really get a handle on things. Because I'm still getting to a point where um, I don't yet instinctively hit the buttons yet. I'm constantly thinking about okay, press Y for that, press X for that. I'm Dewey the head miner in this quarry. I came here to look for Mayor Edgar, but this is as far as I got. But probably soon. Soon, my friend, soon. I have a feeling the artist couldn't fit Sassy in a pair of pants. <laughs> yeah, right? Plus, they're probably pants on me anyway. <laughs> He's in serious danger here, though. I can't just leave him. Unfortunately, the monsters down there Still doing are in that. a class all their own. Sword attacks just bounce right off them. Alright, so I probably will have to reboot my computer at some point. Unless we can find some way of dealing with them, I don't see how we can possibly get the mayor out safely. Maybe check the storehouse. We found some pretty interesting artifacts a while back. Stored them all in there. Locked up tight, but I've got the key right here. Team versus the eye, it'll be fun. Every so often there's like a little bit of an echo and I don't ever remember that being a problem with this game. So I must have either it's this very specific session. Since you're not a miner though, I'm guessing you have no idea where the storehouse is located. It's on the other side of the open air strip mining chamber. That big vertical shaft you pass through. There's a room with two doors at the bottom. It's the one on the left. Help yourself to anything you find in there. I hate to be so useless, but I guess the rest is up to you. Thanks much, Lee Adventure. You're a good man. 
I don't even think it lets me go this way. Looks like it is going to let me go this way a little bit. This is not the way we're supposed to go. I'm just trying to see how far it lets me go this way. Well, maybe I should just go back at this point. You know what, let's do that. Let's go back. It does look like it's going to let me go this way, but let's follow the plot. Plus, we can go back to Redmond and buy some better gear. Thank you. Well, at least the bot's working. Although it's not identifying itself as Resplendent Bot. That's what it was supposed to do. That's what I was actually fucking around with. No. All right, we'll get there. Good, we gained another level. That works. Cool. Thank you. We're back to full health. Beautiful thing. Let's just jump down this way. It's quicker. Wrong place, wrong time, spider. Yeah, these guys are taking a lot less of a uh, beating to actually take down. Smash that follow button. <laughs> Task failed successfully. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> That's awesome. Yep. Okay. So let's save. And yeah, you can see the last time I was playing this game, it's been a while. <laughs> Use the storehouse key. Yep. Let's see what's in here don't think if this is the boss oh shit this is the boss isn't it fuck this is the boss stop shit this is the boss he's gonna kill me so badly but at least i saved right before this so yeah the boss is my name is Dulan, shade of the great will i would have you show me your abilities red-haired swordsman yeah, he's going to kill me really badly here. Spin. Fly. Okay. Spin. Jump at the wrong, yep. Jumped at the wrong time there. Actually, I'm wrong. Nice. Fly. Dance. Damn it. Jumped at the wrong time there. I'm actually not doing as badly as I thought I would. Right. Oh shit. Yep, and now I'm about to die. There it is. You know what, though? I didn't do too bad. I, I think I've got this. Got 
got him. Wow. Okay, we did pretty good there. <laughs> I just talked so much smack how he was going to beat me down Is so badly. The best you have to offer? <laughs> uh, I'm alive and you're dead. And it only took me one retry. So, F you too, buddy. <laughs> Still, you have an unmistakable spark in your eyes. We cannot afford interference at this crucial juncture. I must report this at once. The enemy designs are really badass, though. <laughs> All right, well, let's get whatever this was. Ah, right, we needed the fire bracelet. All right, so this will allow me to do this. Yep, perfect. So... Cool. I don't think... Okay. Yeah, I, have, I guess I have to switch it manually. I guess I have to switch it manually. Anyway, so yeah, I just fire that with this and... Boom! And magic power, for the most part, recharges in that red barrier. So I can... I can use this a decent amount, but if I get a little too carried away with it, then... Um, that's just all she wrote. So yeah, I probably should have gone back and upgraded my shit before fighting Jalorn. But it's alright. Look. Look at the new. Get back here. You're filled with juicy XP. Tastier than Dark Star Salsa. Uh, wait. Oh, I don't want to go through that. Door's locked anyway. I went the wrong way. I need to go this way. Right. Now we go up the shaft. Uh oh. We go upstairs. The mud. Is a Sarah for you? Too. Hey B. <laughs> At some point, what we'll need to do is we'll need to go with the upper right, but not this shit. I just think it's pretty easy. So this was the music that played every time in the original as you uh, approach the various levels. I probably should fire up that like at the end of stream just so you guys could see how utterly cheesy uh, the original game was. I mean, it was impressive for the time, but if I'm remembering it right, those animations and artwork are, are hilarious in hindsight. Not as funny as Last Alert, but they are up there. Now these things. Hey, gardener. Quarry is a dangerous place to be right now with all those monsters everywhere. If you find yourself with any serious injuries, though, you can always touch one of the old stone monuments. Oh, right, yep. One just up out on the side of the road. They're monuments to an ancient god of travel, and they have the power to heal wounds. Always good to know where the nearest one is at all times. If you're in a pinch, you can save your life. Yep, it's also access safe points. There are all these people wondering if I'm gonna go help them or not. Let's see, buy a Welcome. So now we can buy some decent stuff. Actually, I probably should just buy the long sword. Yeah, That's let's just do it. Thank buy the you. long sword. Don't be a stranger. Actually, I should check and see if I can upgrade it. Can I upgrade it? I don't think I have enough. What do you got for me? Yep, I'm short two Ravel Ore. Come again. We can, well, we're pretty close there. All right, so once I get two Ravel Ore, I could theoretically upgrade this. Whatever, it's all good. Cool. And now our strength just <laughs> improved by 12. Yeah, that was, uh, that was worth it. Now we will do significantly more damage. 
soon as I get to 650, I can afford that chainmail. Still takes two hits. That sucks. But oh well. I think they were taking three hits. But now they only take two as well. Moving right along here. No reason for my microphone to be super far away from me. Not that it really matters. This microphone's pretty good. It doesn't need to be like right on top of me. But I also don't need it to be like over my keyboard. Um. No, no, no. <laughs> I know it's only one gold, but quit falling down the stairs. No, I think I need the double jump to get over there. Nope. Get up here. Yep. Okay. So I can't get up there. Up there. All right. So there's only a pot up there. It's not what I remember. In the Turbo Graphics version, well, in the Turbo Graphics version, the storehouse is the one that's all the way up there. It's a different boss entirely. Got what's in the storehouse. Yeah, I don't know about these guys. Let's just go this way. Proceed past that point. game, the music's on point. You know. Oh, look at that. Came back. Thank you for coming back. I wasn't going to kill you, but since you followed me. I see you found that bracelet we unearthed here a while ago. I'm not too shabby an artifact, but I don't know. I just got an eerie, eerie feeling from it. Seems powerful. Scary, even. None of us wanted it, so we put it in storage. But you, you could use it? I'll bet. Uh, you can use it, I'll bet. Against the monsters down below. Yeah, there are going to be some monsters that are only vulnerable to that, and I'm going to need that, so... That's right. That's That was why we decided to follow the plot there. There's a boss up. Okay. Well, you know what, though? I thought Dularn was going to kill the hell out of me, and that went okay. So maybe that one won't, won't be so bad. Well, there is that. Ow. Ow. I think I'll just go that way. All right. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, give me this shit. Yeah, I do much to no damage against those things. I need to use fire against them, but there are tons of them, so fuck it. Yeah. Oops. Damn it. Ah, fire! Chill with fire! Like any good spider. Since I don't have Cleo as an animal companion here in this game, I'm gonna have to just kill them myself. Whatever. Down we go. I couldn't just jump down. Oops. Oops. 
Look, you. I'm tired of dealing with your shit. Thank you. <laughs> God damn. Okay. Now moving on. Yeah, option two, Nade. That's right. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Okay, well, I sort of remember that treasure chest. But I don't remember what I have to have to get into it. Aw, oh, this fucking thing. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, this is East 3, Ulta Filgana, the remake anyway. I'm not hurt. Cool. I like not being hurt. Down, down, down we go. Okay, here's where we get some bullshit. So let's save. I don't think this ends up being nearly as bad as... Oh, never mind. No, I just remembered that boss I was just thinking of. Yeah, this thing's... This thing's probably gonna kill me pretty good. Well, let's see. Who, who are you? What are you doing in a place like this? So, what you're thinking of, Nade, is this game. The Triple Graphics version. Uh, this is the original from 1991. Um, I could play a little of this later, just so you guys see <laughs> the difference. This is Falcom's remake that they did around 2006. They basically took the same story from East 3, they, but they retold it and did it in a better way. So they, even Falcom has acknowledged this is the more canon version, even though they play very similarly. So no, your memory's not off. You're remembering- Adol introduced himself and explained that he had come to rescue Mayor Edgar. An adventurer? Yeah, you're remembering the original one. Well, if you're looking for Mayor Edgar, here I am. At all, was it? Thank you for coming all this way. I was accosted by monsters and managed to lose them here, but hurt my leg quite badly in the process. I was actually just about to hobble my way to the strange old ruins beyond here when you showed up. And it's a good thing I did, because <laughs> that would have been certain death for you, old man. They're quite peculiar. I peeked my head in earlier, and I must say I've never seen anything like them before. At all. I'm sorry to impose upon you even further, especially since we've only just met. No, it's okay. Everybody does this to people. Everybody I meet does this to me, even when we just first meet. But would you be willing to examine these ruins in my place? With my injured leg, I fear what might happen to me should any more monsters attack. But we've come all this way. I know it's rude of me to ask, but I'm sure you're just as curious as I am, no? So please, would you do me this favor? Yeah. Rather than having to deal with all that story one more time. Okay. I'm going to try not to die a lot. I'm going to try not to die a lot. damage am I doing to this thing? Probably not a lot. Man, you get cute with that, Seraph. I think I do more damage when I jump up higher. Wow, I'm doing a whole extra damp 
here. Dot of damage. Oh, this is gonna take forever. And once I get her down halfway, she starts doing other complete bullshit. Oh, and here it is. Damn it. Oh, fucking tornado bullshit. Ow. There it is. Oh, I got her down pretty far though, actually. But I still think I should gain one more level. Oh, I'm only halfway to the next level. Uh... Yeah, I think I should gain one more level. I'm just not doing enough damage to her. So let's let's level up one more time. I'd like to say I won't die to this fight. I'd like to say I won't die to this fight. I'd like to say that. Yeah, right. <laughs> I would like to say that. Well, let's see if I can gain one more level and... If I can gain one more level, I feel like I'd probably do okay against her. Gotta be a faster way to get some XP here. Ow! Take that, bastard. Quick, we'll just use some time. Gain a level really fast. Speed farming gear. Helps when I don't deplete all of my magic. Yeah, those guys are worth pretty decent at XP. Ow! Though, boy, they hit like a truck, don't they? Oof. At least they gave me some hit points back. Ow. Got you. Need that. Yeah, you just don't do enough damage to him. Ow! You could get me from there? I did not think you could hit me from there. <laughs> We're almost there. Hey, Sarah, why don't you just shoot a fireball in the middle of nowhere? It's cool. We're almost one more. I know it's a little boring, but Thank you. I do think that's gonna help things out. Give me gold, sure. Oh, actually, I could go back to town. You know what? Let's do that. Let's go back to town and buy better armor so it does less damage to me. That will also help. I should have just been going back to town. I could speed this along. Zoom, zoom. Ugh. Hey, Seraph, uh, why don't you actually hit the junk button? You know, before you're falling. <laughs> I also don't want to have these things. They're over there. Goodbye. See you guys. A lot of enemies. Fortunately, if you're just running through, most of them are just like, hey, wait, where'd, where'd that adult guy go? But yeah, the original version of this game was a pure, purely a uh, side scroller. I mean, for the time, it was pretty easy. But it unfortunately didn't really... Um, I feel like East Book 1 and 2 probably aged better. 
But, you know, I don't know. I haven't played that one yet. At some point, I am going to play the original. Just for a nostalgia break. But I remember being, back when I was good at the game, I think I beat it anywhere between like three or four hours from third, like start to finish. So part of me also thinks that game wouldn't be, um, wouldn't really be as in-depth as this one. I feel like this one was, uh, was a better choice playthrough. Plus, again, Falcom said this one was more, was the more canon version, so we may as well go with what Falcom considers canon. So I was talking with Warhammer earlier, uh, Nade, and he's gonna go be in Texas to watch the eclipse. I'm hoping that it is not cloudy for him tomorrow. I can't even imagine if I had made plans because with, with an eclipse, you can't just go there and uh, and just you know show up, watch the eclipse, and leave. Yeah, it's going to be a five-minute event, but then it takes traffic like a day or two to really clear. Um, so yeah, to do all that and it, for it to be cloudy, I would be, I'd be so disappointed. And then of course, North America is not getting another eclipse after this one until 2044. But we're getting another one right on the back of that in 2045. It's actually going to affect our area. We should be able to see it right from where we are. Oh, I hope. That would be nice. We're going to buy some better armor. And let's hope I can actually defeat that boss. But yeah, that boss is really brutal. And it's only susceptible to the fire bracelet. You have to be... You have to fight it Welcome. with that. Have to. Um, so... That's the one. Thank you. Got that. Don't be a stranger. Uh, Welcome. That's the one you. Thank you. Sure, we may as well That's buy the that. One, thank you. Second one's cost that much, huh? I don't even remember what this incapacitate nearby enemies for a short time. Oh, okay, that's useful. I'll have to remember that. Blocks three enemy attacks, one time use. Don't oh, be you a know stranger. what? I wonder if I could use the illusion mirror then before going into that boss and at least block three attacks for free. I don't think it works that way. Yeah. Long time. A long time. But it is nice that we won't theoretically shouldn't have to travel, you know, assuming we're still alive then. Kind of grim to think about that. But hopefully, I mean. Oh. And I think that was clouds dimming overhead in this game. <laughs> Yeah, you can see the clouds uh, venturing, so every so often they get in the way, and that's funny. We were just talking about that, and the game delivers. Oh, it would help if I actually equipped it, wouldn't it? Let's equip that armor. I don't think I look any... Oh, do I look different? You know what, I probably should have looked before and after, but whatever. Okay, now let's try and deal with this boss. Only did a little farming. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> but it, I mean, it's, it is a long time away. Hopefully. Here's hoping. Let's see. Come here, zombie, you little bastard. Although knowing our luck, it'll be fucking cloudy that day too, right? <laughs> Can you fucking imagine? Although I have thought about it, even though the eclipse for us is not going to be for a while, I actually have thought about whether or not it makes sense to travel to, um, you know, either Europe or South America for the next eclipse. Give me money. I need money. <laughs> I need money after spending it all on armor and equipment. Let's see, we got buffs. I'm getting XP at double. I'm getting XP at double the rate. My strength is double. My speed is a little enhanced.
you. I like money. We should hang out. Definitely can't make that jump yet. Oh, we got there. <laughs> Whoops. You missed. Off center, so it's hard to get to him. Whatever. We're almost back to the boss now. You did do it. <laughs> Fucking birds. Alright. Now that we're armed with better shit, let's try this again. Yeah, some of the bosses in this game, I mean, East is generally known for its kind of epic, crazy bosses. But uh, yeah, Oath of Felgana does not hold your hand. They throw tough bosses right at you, right out of the gate. Can't hit it with a sword. You better jump it just the right way or you're fucked. I forgot to activate the fucking um, illusion mirror to see if it would negate three hits, too. If this thing kills me, I'll have to try that. I can't access the menu when I'm in here. That part sucks. Damn it. I am taking less damage, though. The bullshit. Damn it. Ow. Stop hitting me. Ow. Damn it. Fucking tornado thing. Oh fuck, that's right. I forgot it does that. Oh, did I kill it? Ah, oh, haha, I killed it. All right, not too bad. So technically, second attempt? Only because I ran and leveled up and got a better piece of armor? Yeah, technically second attempt, not too bad. We acquired the Moonstar statue. And uh, of course, I imagine Adol going like, the fuck is this and why is it important? But thanks to us seeing the cutscene, we know why this is important. <laughs> what are you doing here? You don't listen very well. I believe we handed down a royal edict to close the quarry, did we not? If you'd just done as you were told, you wouldn't have gotten hurt. So spare me the lecture. Just do as Lord Maguire asks. Y you! I wondered what had become of you, but I'd never imagined. You, you aren't really working for Count Maguire, are you? <laughs> You're stupid. I brought you this stuff. <laughs> oh, but I am. I'm a devoted knight in service of the great Lord Maguire. Therefore, I'll thank you to keep a respectful tone when you address me. <sighs> Who goes there? You aren't from Redmond. What business have you here? Three guesses as to who this guy might be, right? He looks like the third prince to Charles V. Britannia! Yes! <laughs> Adol gave his name and explained the circumstances of his arrival in Felgana. A friend of Dogi's? Hm. I never thought he'd come back. And certainly not now. No matter. Lord Maguire's orders were explicit regarding the closure of the quarry. If you've come to lead this old man out of here, then I suggest you do so immediately. Oh, wait! What about Eleanor? Or do you even care that she's been worried sick about you? 
She doesn't even know if you're alive or dead. I've grown weary of playing nursemaid. She's 17. She's old enough to cope without her big brother. You should tell her to forget about me. Hell, coming from you, she might even do it. Now, mind you, Elena is 17. At this point, Adol and Dogi are 17. They're all of like, those three are the same age. Uh, but where are my manners? It would seem I've forgotten to introduce myself. I am Chester Stoddart, a high-ranking knight in service of Felgana's Lord, His Grace, Count Maguire. Adol, was it? As an adventurer, I know you may be tainted, but I'd advise you not to get involved in our politics. That is, of course, unless you are eager to die. Count Maguire is the Lord of Felgana, though he's not native to this land. He's actually from Rom. From the moment he took power here, he levied exorbitantly high taxes and pressured us into forced labor. Then, a few days ago, he ordered us to shut down Tigre Quarry, the town's primary source of income. Naturally, we refused, since he gave us absolutely no reason. And that's about when you showed up. To think that Chester would willingly serve a man like that, what could possibly be running through his head? He left his little sister behind, too, and she hasn't heard a word from him in months. Honestly, I have a hard time believing it. Even now, knowing what I know, I keep thinking it can't be true. And what am I supposed to do? Just tell Eleanor to try and forget about him? I couldn't possibly agree to that. I'd never be so callous. No. Uh, Eleanor? <laughs> How convenient that she overhears that. How long have you been listening? I... I heard you made it home from the quarry, and that you were hurt, so I... I thought I'd stop by to check on you, and... I overheard your whole conversation. <laughs> I'm sorry! Melina! It's good to know Chester's alright, at least. But that's little consolation right now. Ever since they were orphaned 12 years ago, those two have really watched out for one another. Good deal, Nade. Good to see you have you drop by. Always a pleasure, man. Yeah, uh, anytime, just let me know. I mean, the first part of it is kind of solo anyway. Um, and obviously the AI mechs, the AI is, is adequate enough, but that game definitely is better played with, with other people. So, um, so yeah, that works. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> playing the other day to remember what the, <laughs> yeah, I did want like, a quick play real quick. And yeah, I didn't, I basically didn't remember anything. Uh, so yeah, good call. <laughs> All right, man, have a good night. Up until about three years ago, they lived at my house and I'd always put Chester in charge whenever I was away. I figured it would teach him to be a responsible young man. Though, honestly, I never did get the hang of raising him. At all. Could I persuade you to look in on Elena for me? Right now, I think she might find it easier to open up to an impartial third party. Sure, buddy. Why not? To say nothing of it having that evil-looking statue in its possession, I have to wonder if the statue may have been what McGuire was after when he shut down the quarry. As it turns out, yes. <laughs> that is exactly what he was after. I don't know how we could have ever managed without you at all. Mayor Edgar is the only thing standing between us and McGuire's oppressive tyranny, and without you, he'd be gone. The quarry's closure will uh, will hit us like a ton of bricks, but we'll manage. As long as we have Mayor Edgar, we'll survive. As I'm sure you've noticed, the quarry's basically nothing but a huge monster nest at the moment. Yep. We could deal with McGuire breathing down an X, but the monsters pose a real threat. So as much as we hate to do it, we're actually going to have to shut down mining operations for however long we need to. Ah, oh, what to do, what to do? With the quarry closed, I'll never get my hands on any Ravel ore. My investors will all drop me, and I'll be ruined. 
I don't look forward to the mountains of debt that await me when I get back to Rome. Failure. Thy name is Antonio. <laughs> I forgot how melodramatic this guy is. But wait! You're the type that people randomly send on quests, aren't you? Please, sir, sell me some Ravel ore. If you can find me just enough to keep my backers from breaking my kneecaps, uh, I'll buy it from you at top gold. What do you think? An irresistible offer, no? I swear, I'll pay handsomely. You have to spend money to make money, after all. Just ten pieces. Ten pieces of Ravel. So once I get ten pieces of Ravel ore, I could sell it to him for some gold. Chester. Adol. I'm sorry. I've just got a lot on my mind. My brother... gave me this pendant. He left it here in a letter for me. On the day he vanished. I guess it makes me feel closer to him when I wear it. But... in reality, it was closer than I ever realized all this time. I'm so sorry, Adol. So many horrible rumors have been going around about my brother. And then, to hear the man who raised me confirm them all? I just... want to know what's happening, and why. He must have a reason, right? <laughs> yes, more side quests, Freakbot. Bring me ten things so I could give you other things, and the cycle never ends! <laughs> You're the type that takes on side quests. I love how they just lampshade it like that. It's fucking awesome. Maybe I'm being selfish. I should just be grateful he's alive. In a way, it's like a weight I've been carrying for the last six months has been lifted from me. I may not know what's going through his mind just yet, but I do know that if I could talk to him, just talk to him, then things might go back to normal. So don't worry about me. I'll be okay. But thank you for your concern at all. I really do appreciate it. So what Father Pierre said was true. He mentioned that he'd caught sight of a man who looked like my brother in front of the ruins to the northeast. That's where I was heading when you found me. I went out to see if I could catch sight of him myself. Why would he go to such a ghastly place, though? There's our... There's our lead. Hmm. This has become quite serious indeed. Hmm. Best mented man. <laughs> Why would Father Pierre go to such a place? Please, forgive me. I should have tried harder to stop him. My, my. Such blazing red hair. You must be Adol. I've heard murmurings about you amongst the townsfolk. My name is Nicholas. I am head of the Felgana Diocese. I was also the town's priest until three years ago. Now I serve at the castle. While Father Pierre enlightens the town, I still drop by from time to time, though. Old habits do die hard, as they say. <laughs> I fear, however, that my visit today may be a bit less transient than usual on account of Father Pierre's absence. Are you familiar with the Ilburn's ruins to the northeast of here? They are the remnants of a temple used by practitioners of a pagan religion from a long lost era. It would seem that Father Pierre has taken it upon himself to visit that temple, for purposes unknown. It's unsafe in every regard. There's a dormant volcano behind it which has recently become active anew. Hey, Deep Fry, yes, more East. Both of Fulgana this time, the remake of this game. <laughs> Ever Honestly, qualitatively, I, I have to admit, this version is better than East 3 for the Turbo Graphics in pretty much every way. And popular rumor suggests the place is infested with monsters of all shapes and sizes. Although the story is exactly the same, but this one runs very nicely off steam and without any kind of like weird issues. All the more reason for concern. One cannot help but fear the worst. Adol. Adol Kristen. They say you're the one who rescued Mayor Edgar from the quarry. Is this true? Given your considerable skill. Might I humbly request you undertake another such mission to find Father Pierre? I love that it gives you the option. Such selfless courage. On behalf of the church, you have my deepest gratitude. I believe you will be needing this. 
Ah, uh, okay. We needed to talk to him to get the ruins key. We wouldn't even been able to get in there otherwise. The Ilburn's ruins are just off the road, to the northeast of here. This key opens the access gate. Please, do whatever you can to ensure the safety of Father Pierre. May God be with you. Fight well, adventurer. There's only one thing that I could say definitively was better about the original than this game, and it's one particular soundtrack of one level. Guess what's wrong about you, mister? You really saved the mayor. Man, you must be super duper strong. I have my moments. He's not here right now, but Chester was super duper strong like that, too. You gotta tell me sometime how you beat the monsters. I promise you'll tell me, Mr. Adol. I don't... I mean, we could talk to literally everybody, but... At this point, I think we've talked to everybody we need to. But I do want to go into the inn really quick. Just to talk to this dude. You know, I left a wife and son behind in Garmin. I wonder how they're doing these days. If you can get work as a knight, you're in for an easy ride. Life becomes like a never-ending party. My wife was dead set against the whole idea, but I did it anyway. And what do you know? She was right, as always. Townsfolk never liked the Count much, even from the outset. He's levied ridiculously high taxes, even taken people from the town to help build his castle. Rumor has it he also hired a lot of mercenaries to do his bidding, knighting them on the spot as a lure. I heard this game is harder than East One, at least the Chronicles version. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I, I was I was talking about that before you got in. Uh, East bosses are kind of known for being kind of crazy and legendary and, and kind of on the difficult side. And this game does not hold your hand. The bosses, even from the outset, I actually thought I was going to die a lot to them. Uh, but I managed to beat both Delorn and the uh, boss control uh, that had the moon, the moon statue only on the second attempt. Uh, I don't know if that was me remembering how to do it or if I just got lucky this time. But uh, but yeah, uh, it it does kind of have a, that reputation, as uh, as you'll see. <laughs> you can you can enjoy the difficulty vicariously through me. <laughs> We're gonna have some fun. Save since we did deal with some uh, since we did deal with some dialogue there. Can't really afford any good gear at the moment. So let's just go to the Ilburn's Ruins, which in uh, Wanderers from East, the Turbo Graphics version, was just called Alcano Ruins. If we go this way, this way is the Ilburn Mountains. I'm just going to see if we can even get anywhere, if we can even kill one monster. I don't think so. It'd be nice. We're just gonna do we're gonna do a scenic route right now. I don't I know we can't get up there because we need we need the double jump. Sarah, I've taken one for the team, that's right. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't even let us get in here. This is the start. So yeah, we need the double jump to get in there. I was like, well maybe we could at least deal with one or two monsters, but no. Nope. But yeah, those are the elder monst uh mountains. Let's go to, yep, we will activate the map. Yep, the Elder Mountains are at the base of that. We'll take a quick look at Valestine Castle because why not? Home of Mount, uh, Count Maguire. And for anybody who's played Trails of Cold Steel, Valestine Castle will have a familiar name. Good old uh, Sarah Valestine. Yikes, Bosch Rush has a... <laughs> yeah, I don't doubt that it has only a 1.4% clear on Steam. That would... That's gotta be, like, the most ridiculous shit ever. <laughs> you know, maybe we'll try that on stream, just to see how hilariously uh, bullshit it is. <laughs> yeah, there's Valestine Castle. And clearly they didn't have 21.9 resolution in mind because there's no background. It was just blackness. One of the head knights, Chester, was originally an ordinary, unassuming villager for Redmond, apparently. Kind of surprising he'd have applied for the position, given how much the locals dis uh, dislike Count McGuire. Not that I could really blame them, I suppose. Sometimes it seems like he's just trying to piss them off. But yeah, when we heard about his knighting, we were all pretty shocked. He's the only Redmond knight we've got. And man, it certainly didn't take him long to rise in the ranks. Count must really like him. And obviously we can't go into Palestine Castle, but here it is. Palestine Castle being one of the last areas of the game. 
It's now with that little brief lay of the land out of the way. Let's go to the Kilburn's Ruins. Not to be confused with Alcane Ruins. I think I already went the wrong way. I think I was supposed to go up that way. Wasn't I? That is not what I wanted. Doo doo doo. You know, I'm about the right way. Any second now, the path is going to turn right. Right? I feel like this is the way to the Tigray Quarry, though. Am I wrong? Nope. This is indeed the right way. This is why it was important for us to have the key. We couldn't go any further than this. Watch you do it for- that would be unreal. That is not what I wanted. Ruins key. It's also not what I wanted. Use the ruins key, yes. <laughs> That's alright. We recharge those things. Let's uh yeah. let's also Um Yeah, let's do that. Oh, uh no, I do not want to use that item. Let's not use that item. It'll be fine. But good to know about the mirror. I really should remember the mirror. Oh, these fucking owls. Ow! Fucker. I remember hating these, but I... Oh, boy. Alright, at least after all that, I was going to get the XP for one of these little shits. God damn. Oh, I'm back at full health anyway. Cool. I dropped a health item. Sweet. I don't have to go back there and re. Ugh. Never mind. I'm gonna try just not fighting any of those, any of those owls. <laughs> Alright, now Seraph has to remember exactly how this worked. I remember those being really hard to kill. Nope. We're just gonna pass by them, fight other things. Of course, they can kind of stun lock you like that. Although that wasn't too bad. It's only a few. There we go. Mostly it's just lining up and doing it, but oh boy. These owls. They are not superb. They are not superb in any way. I hate them. <laughs> Shit. Ah. Uh, I hit you. Yeah, I do no damage to you. Nope. Right, I can't get to you anyway. Hey, Seraph, uh, why don't you try just getting hit by fucking everything? Ow. Ow, why did they explode? I forgot. I needed that. Oh, no, no, uh, I'm like, no, it's gonna explode! <laughs> I couldn't get away from it in time. Oh, that sucked. <laughs> All right. right, I think I have to jump. That's right. easier way to kill them, but that's the way I remember. Um, oh, I hit the wrong button. I wanted to go in the menu. Uh, all right, Maxi, have a good one, man. See you later. Good to see you as always. Uh, no, it's not bumper controls. You you actually control uh, the, the, the swiping. Yeah, the bump system is only 
in Eastbook 1 and 2 into the remake of Eastbook 1 and 2. Well, since we activated it, let's find something. Damn it, by the time we actually find something. Yeah, it's right. Come here. Come here, come here. Come on. Now. Find you. Oh, right. Okay, once I stun it, then I can follow up with attacks. Okay, do I buy a better shield or... Damn, he really, he really smacked me. Good one. All right, so far, there's only one way we could go, but... All right. Yeah, let's go down. That guy. Damn, I thought I was at a angle where that guy couldn't hit me. All right, let's see what's in here. All right, we got a small shield. Yep, control the directors of slash, where I slash, everything else. So let's go to equipment. Let's equip the shield. Cool, so now I got all this cool shit. Okay, so like a jump, jump. So you got your downward slash. Upward slash, kind of slide over. Got a couple of combos. Yeah, the combat's really fluid. You control exactly where you jump. Um, it, yeah, the controls are good. The controls are really good. I was not that much of a fan of the bump system. I mean, I could see where they were trying to go with it, but it was... Um, it was just awkward. <laughs> it was just very, very, very awkward. Uh, okay, let's see. I know that could do that, but let's... Uh... Damn. Shit. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, all right, we're going to head back. I need to heal. So let's try and get it out. Damn it. Come on, drop, drop healing items. Thank you. If I absolutely need to go to the front. Got him. If we could heal by the time we get out to the front, and I'm not super worried about it, but... And of course, these guys are all fucking immune to the fire magic. Cool. All right, let's proceed now. Uh, my only concern is that if I die in that room, yeah, if I die in that room, I'm going to lose all my progress. Let's just head real quick back out because uh, Fieldbridge Ruins isn't really all that big and I don't want to lose my progress. I mean, granted, healing was the primary purpose of all this bullshit, but head out really fast. So we know we go straight out and then we're going to go up. You missed. <laughs> Although these fucking owls. Nope. Bye, owls. Goodbye. One of the things that's cool about the double jump, and I think we get it here, is it allows you to kind of hover in place a little bit. And I remember those owls becoming much easier to deal with. much easier to deal with. But until then, yeah, they're they're just assholes. I do remember them being really hard to hit. So save. I do not want to lose that progress. Alright, so now we're now Seraph's also remembering the layout of the Ilburn's ruins much better now too. Of course we can't dash yet. I think we get the dash in this area, but uh, in a, we'll call it the basement <laughs> without without spoiling anything. See tiny little quarters like this where you can kind of ambush them and they can't fly in circles. It's probably 
probably the best place to kill those little bastards. Take that. There we go. Goodbye, I'm not even dealing with you guys. Boom. I got away from it. Didn't. Healing me. Good. Okay, we're learning. Look at that. We're actually learning. Goodbye. Nope. See ya. Oh, really? That's cheap. All right, let's see if we can do this. So far, this isn't as terrifying as I remember. Well, but we will take the Ravalor. Yeah, there's no level cap in this game. I don't even know why they instituted the level cap for East Book 1 and 2. There's no level cap in any other game. All right, so that opened that up. Cool. All right, why did I think that was so bad? Was I mistaking that for a different room? Probably mistaking it for a different room. do this, but I'll take the Ravalor. Thank you. I need that. Fuck you, you little dipshit. I'll take health. Thank you. I mean, I didn't have to jump down for that stuff. No. Go. You have to do that. All right, so we did everything up before that. We didn't miss anything, right? I don't think so. Yeah, we haven't missed anything. <sighs> yeah, let's go down first. Oh, more bullshit. Oh, shit. Take the cattle elixir. Those are awesome. Those are permanent up, uh, hit point upgrades, I believe. Cool. All right, so that worked out. Cool, nice little optional trap room. What level are we? We're level 11 already. Not bad. We're moving along. Oh. Don't manage to get myself hit. Yeah, yeah, blow up. Thank you. Thank you. Almost guarantee the way up is a trap room, but we'll do it anyway. Uh, maybe the right way is an optional thing. Thought I would get to him. Okay, so being hyper aggressive was stupid. Yeah, yeah. That was the wrong place to teleport to, buddy. <laughs> uh, all right, so this leads out, so. Nice job, Sarah. Dead. Rest of Zelda worked pretty well, I would say. Um, we got to the Dark World. Just, uh, we defeated the Dark Palace, the palette, basically the first one in the Dark World, and that unlocks all of the other ones. That was a good place to stop because that's uh, one of the spots where Seraph needs to now remember and kind of reconsider 
how I want to do the rest of that playthrough. Because when I, I do vaguely remember when I was playing that game a lot, I remember there was a certain order that I played shit at. Um, I'm almost positive that, um, I'm almost positive that I would do, uh, blinds dungeon first for some reason, probably to get the Titan's Mitt. Well, let's see, what did we get? Oh, more Ravalor. <laughs> well, now we got plenty of Ravalor. So we're doing very well in Zelda. Right, we did everything. Okay, so we did everything over this way. So I guess the question is, do I... Do I head back to Redmond now that I have a, a thousand gold? Um, I don't think so. Shit. Nice try, dickhead. Curb stomp time! Boom! We are going to get to a point of this where it's going to be very difficult to go back. That's the best way to deal with those. Got most of my health back there. Oh, bastard. Right, and I can't get that. Ow! Can't get that open so much later. Stupid owl. Let's see. Part of me thinks I should go back, but I'm trying to remember what stuff was back there. I'm actually thinking I might just be better off just keep going. Because uh, I've got... I at least have the tier 2 stuff of everything. So... Yeah, the banded armor I need 10,000 gold for. And I don't think anything else... Yeah, I don't think unless we have 2,000 gold, I don't think anything even makes sense. Go back to Redmond. So yeah, let's just keep going. Fuck it. I'm coming for you. Thought you could just sit up here and take pot shots at me all day? Uh-uh. Doing pretty well level-wise. We continue leveling up pretty well. Probably because we're gaining double XP rate because we're just slaughtering shit. teleported away just in time. Dead. <laughs> enough out of you. All right, so I got three choices. I think the way to go is right. I think. I'm not really sure. Aha! Uh -huh. So what these rubies do, it makes your, uh, it makes the magic of fire better. Yep. Jewel. <laughs> yeah, so now the power is going to be e increased. So now my fire bolts uh, essentially do more damage. I don't know if it's visibly more damage, but... But it's very helpful. Right, so that was there. So that was good. We picked up a ruby. So we gotta be on the lookout for all these rubies. Not you. <laughs> the pieces of its gore go off the screen. Uh, shit. All right, let's go up then. We went, wait. 
Did we come from up? Or we come from the left? I think we came from the left. That's my fault. And I'm not gonna shoot. I mean, I can kill these guys each and every time. Okay, well, I will take money. Well, shit, now I have the decision. Now I've got over 2,000 gold. Maybe I should go back to Redmond now. It's too bad there's no easy way to get back. You have to run back each time. But now we've guaranteed that we've explored everything. Right is the way to go. Yep. Well, shit. So... Let's see, do I continue on or do I upgrade? Let's let's go back to Redmond because the part ahead, the part ahead is a little bit of a doozy. And now that we know the way, this shouldn't take long. I'm not gonna fight any things, I'm just gonna run. Goodbye. Should only take us a few minutes to get back. I mean, if something really pisses us off, we'll kill it, but otherwise, Otherwise, we'll just go. We will just flee through everything. Yep, I know. This is a totally optional, very optional trip back to town. Jeez, these guys only shoot one bolt, and I still manage to get myself hit by it. Nice job, Seraph. So now that people have filed in, everybody's weekend is going well. I think we just go straight for the most part. Yep. It is mostly straight. Mostly a dead run. Once we get a better jump, we can get over uh, that side. Oh, I know what we need to do over there. It's not a double jump. It's, um, uh, I know what, I know what we need. <laughs> Whatever. Man, these owls are fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah, owls. I mean, it sucks to get that far, but... Uh, again, once we advance past the ritual area, we're gonna be We're gonna be locked in for a little while and we won't have the option of going back to town We're doing it now while we still have the chance And that could add some difficulty to the game also <laughs> Because if you get to a part where you can't upgrade your gear and the area is too hard, that could be that could be a real challenge. Cool. Now we just kill these guys in one shot. All oh, right. We wanna, uh, no, we do want to go this way. This is Redmond. Thank you. Yeah, you know, this green equipment looks pretty cool. All right. Let's hope we could buy something better. At all, might I see that bracelet you've got there? I consider myself something of an expert when it comes to old jewelry and knickknacks. Okay, pass the bracelet to you. I knew it. This is no ordinary bracelet. It's an ancient artifact with an elemental energy trapped inside. Did you fit this little gemstone inside it yourself? You've got good sense. Gemstones like this uh, help increase the bracelet's power by magnifying its energy. Anyway, thanks for letting me peel up your jewelry. You really stumbled onto something special. Take good care of it, geez. Even the text of Cynthia is suggestive. Uh, yeah, let's Welcome. buy equipment. Um, damn, I am just shy of the large shield. Uh, and yeah, okay, plate mail would have been even more expensive. So I really wasn't... Uh, all right, large shield is uh, a couple of hundred away. All right, so let's go to 2,800. Let's go to 2,800. We'll buy that shield, then we'll get the hell, and then we'll advance. That won't be too bad. It's just a few hundred, and we make money pretty decently. So that won't be too bad. We will be... Trust me, we will be glad we did. <laughs> At least I'm pretty sure I'll be glad I did. 
We just need to get to 2800. I wish I'd known that before kind of coming over this way, but sorry. I should have stopped in the store on the before heading over to the Ilburn's ruins just to see how much I needed. That's my fault. Wait, no. Wait, what? I'm going the complete wrong way. Why did I think Ilburn's ruins were up this way? I must have thought that was the quarry. We're still getting used to the uh, layout of everything here. All right, this is Ilburn's ruins. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we need money. Every every gold counts here. Yep. This is Elburn's Ruins. So once we get, to, pretty much once we get to 2700, we'll start working our way back. Damn, we just needed a few more hundred XP. Really don't want to deal with these owls because they take forever to kill. You little assholes. You assholes we will kill. Now that I know this. These guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, there's some of those little like and throw up like things over there, but whatever. Got 50 gold right there. This won't take too long. A little tedious, but Can't get up there, right? I can't get up there, right? Because I need to, I can blaze that platform, but right, I can't make that jump. Just remembering that clearly. Thank you. Money, money, money. Besides, we'll get some XP in the process. That was nice, though. I do appreciate the extra XP. Get you guys, real quick. Nice and easy. I thought I would get to you before you'd get me. You guys give me like four or five gold a piece make quick work of this, so I might just, I might just farm you guys for gold. This will go pretty quick. I do love the music of these games. Nice little Spanish guitar there. By the time we get back, we'll have the 2800. Didn't even have to go very far in these. A 
Look here, you little shit. <laughs> Listen here, you little shit. <laughs> hey, get out of here. Let's get out of here and then proceed with the plot with minimal introduction. I get the ability to hover in the air and slash at these guys. That gets so much easier. Orders of magnitude easier. I mean, it's not exactly impossible to hit those things, but... I don't even know if it's worth it to try <laughs> for as aggravating as they are to try to corral. Dun, 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 dun. That was actually the end of the track. Kind of perfect timing there. We're not even close to leveling, but whatever. That wasn't about getting XP. Besides, we'll get tons of XP in the, area, in the next area. I just want to make sure we're going to have the equipment to survive it. Although, um... I'll be livid if I buy this thing. Yeah. Waiting to see. Oh, there's, there's. Uh, so the next boss fight isn't for a little bit, but yeah, there's, <laughs> there's some doozies. Actually, one of the toughest bosses in the game is not the next one, but it's the second to next one, uh, if I'm remembering it correctly. <laughs> it's, it's a fucking dragon, uh, without spoiling too much. It's well pretty done. awesome, but at the same time. Holy fuck. That's the one you want. Thank you. Don't be a stranger. We did just pick up a shield. So I'm thinking it's not very likely that um, that we're going to get, we're going to find a shield. I think we're going to find some armor, but I guess we'll find out. But at least we've got that equipment upgrade that'll help us survive the sheer monumental bullshit that we're about to deal with plot wise. Is that divine area? Oh fuck, that ritual area rather? <laughs> Ooh boy. This way goes to the mine. Right? This way should go to the Tigray mine. Nope, this is the way to the Elburn's Ruins. That's how I got myself mixed up. Tigray mine is to the southeast. Elburn's Ruins is just directly to the east. It's all right, Seraph learned, eventually. So we did inadvertently do some farming. We definitely wanted gold. We definitely needed gold to upgrade our... Uh... Oh, you know what I should have done? I probably should have at least tried to... Oh, I could have sold the uh, Ravalor I got. Nah, we'll do that next time we go to town. We've already gone too far, too far this way now. If I were playing this offline, I probably would just go back to town. But as soon as I'm playing this on stream, I'm like, ah, fuck, I just left town. Screw it. Ow. But now they're only doing one hit point of damage to me. These guys are chumps. Oh. Shithead. Come on, blow up already. Thank you. Now, hopefully you don't have to wait too long, but it is going to be a little bit. It's not like right up ahead. Now you're dealt with. You. All right, just like that, we're already back to hit points. Perfect. Give me a nice little strength boost. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yeah, god, that... If, if Assuming I'm remembering it correctly. 
And I think I am. It's it's not the next boss. It's the boss after that. That is one of the gnarliest bosses, I think, in the entire E series. It's pretty crazy. Raise up this. I am going to die a lot to that, for sure. Although I said that to do about to learn, and he only killed me once. So who knows? This way. Oh ho ho, I stunned you. He couldn't teleport away. That's awesome. <laughs> Super fun when you actually stun the enemies. Actually, I'm still getting a decent amount of XP for all this. You're running or you're gonna run? And he, got, and he managed to hit me. Uh, fine. You guys aren't worth the hassle. HP back. He managed to get the lick in anyway. No, you guys aren't giving me any health updates, huh? Super lame. You guys want to do that, you know? That'd be nice. more important to kill the fucking Wizrobe wannabe motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, definitely enemy overload in some rooms for sure. But that's part of the fun. And they're full of delicious XP. All right, we're back in the ritual area, this time with better equipment. What are you doing here? <laughs> I could just as easily ask you that same question, Father Pierre. This is not a fit place for the likes of you. <laughs> if you value your life, I suggest you leave at once. No, uh, everything looks fine on my end. Give me one second, guys. Let me just... Let me just uh, switch real quick. Okay, you figured it out. Yep, you figured it out. You're back. <laughs> I was about to switch to the chat just to just to type like, nope, I can see you chatting to me. Yeah, Twitch does that sometimes. I've I've seen that and I've had to just refresh the browser. You are you are not alone. Twitch just doing Twitch things. <laughs> you value your life. I suggest you leave at once. Chester, you should at least let Elena know what you're doing, and that you're okay. She's been worried sick. She's never stopped looking for you. After all this time, not once has she lost hope. That's no concern of yours, father. Keep sticking your nose where it doesn't belong, and it's liable to get cut off. Well, well. Seems these ruins have a little rat problem. <laughs> At all? I warned you not to get involved. But since you seem incapable of following orders, you leave me little choice. Oh! Fuck, I forgot about this. Oh, shit! Okay! There are three bosses. Fuck. I completely forgot we fight Chester here. Okay! And he is... He sucks, because he's fast. 
He does a lot of the same shit you do. Whoops, can't. Oh, fuck. Here you little shit. Okay, as long as I'm not an idiot about things. Take that! Gotcha! Here we go! Take the gotcha! Here we go! Shit, there it is. Almost had him though. That all you've got? Nah, we got him. We got him. I just was not expecting. I don't know why I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> but okay, I think we got him though. Special bullshit, no? Didn't do this time. Take that! Gotcha! Oh, nope. jump! Go. Take the gotcha! Here we go! I actually like when he does that ju ju move. Gotcha! Here we go! Because that's the longest he kinda sticks behind. Yeah, when he knows that he's invulnerable. Take that I remember. Gotcha. Come on. Take that. Gotcha. Here we go. Damn, I shouldn't have let myself get hit by that. Here we go. Damn, I just I was so close to getting that him that time. Got? <laughs> Take that! Gotcha! Here we go! Damn. Take that! Shouldn't have let myself get hit by that. Here we go! And throw Take your stupid that. knives. Gotcha. I'm getting sloppy. I really should have been able to avoid that. Brought up that field too quick. Come on, buddy. Here we go. Oh, I went in one more too deep. Here we go. I saw it when I jumped. Long timing on the jump. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Yeah, you went into that like fucking crazy. Yeah, Chester's tough. I don't know, maybe I should go back to the title and level up one more, but I feel like I've got this. I just gotta not be an idiot about it. I got too greedy there. Come on. Take that! Take that! Here we go! Damn it! Yes. Sucks when he interrupts it. Oh. Yeah, I didn't think I could. Here we go. Be better. Yeah, I think I should just, you know what? Just kill me. Here we go. I had already messed up too many times. I didn't think I could do it. <laughs> Take that! Gotcha! Come on, buddy. Come on. Gotcha. Here we go. Almost. I almost had the wrong jump timing on that one.
Oh, Seraph. That was just a careless jump. I really should have jumped. Oh, you got me again with that shit? Bastard. He's fast. <laughs> and when you make mistakes, he really punishes you. Damn it. I don't know why I got so aggressive there. Got him. I underestimated you. That's right, you under... I mean, granted, we'll forget that he killed me, though, three times so, before I finally got him. You're not all talk. You actually have some <laughs> skill. Yeah, right? If it were real life, we'd both be out of breath by now. <laughs> Uh, I don't think magic works when he's in that blue sphere. I think he's invulnerable in that state. Um, so yeah, Chester is, is definitely a tricky boss fight because he's so fucking fast. And yeah, when you make a mistake, he punishes you for it. But as long as your timing is good, it's like once I finally figured it out, that last fight wasn't too bad. Uh, it just it takes it takes a couple of tries to get the timing down. But yeah, he he could be he could be a hands a handful. And he's not even the tough boss that I was thinking of. <laughs> Which means I needn't go easy on you. <laughs> S stop this, both of you. I'd advise you to stand aside, holy man. <laughs> Let's see what you're made of. Men, seize them! Ah, uh, now the Count shows up. Well, if it isn't Lord Maguire, may I ask what brings you to such a place, my lord? What brings me? Oh, I, I merely thought I might come to worship at the seat of my future power. And what should I find when I get here but my top knight dealing with intruders? So, uh, tell me, who are these people? The clergyman is Redmond's head priest, and the swordsman with the red hair is the latest adventurer to cross these lands. Oh, an adventurer, you say? Hmm, a meddlesome priest is bad enough, but an adventurer simply won't do at all. I imagine he hopes to get his hands on my statues. Ah, no matter. We will dispose of him here. The voice acting is obviously much better than the previous installments. <laughs> if that is your will, my lord. Yeah, right, Deep Right? Bring it on! <laughs> I know of a place nearby that is most suitable for meeting out a man's final judgment. I believe you'll find it quite to your liking. <laughs> Will I now? So in the original East Three Wanderers from East, you don't ever actually fight Chester. So for some reason, even though I have played this, I've played most of this game, but I keep forgetting that you fight Chester here. And I don't know why it's a surprise to me each time, other than I'm just stupid as hell. <laughs> Very well then, take me there at once. As you wish. The second that fight started, I just went, oh my god, why didn't I remember this shit? <laughs> but thank goodness I got that shield. Otherwise that fight would be even harder. He'd be doing even more damage to you when you make the mistakes. And it would have been a lot tougher. So thankfully we went back to town. <laughs> a precipice high above the lava pits. Oh, wait. <laughs> this should make quick work of him. You would think so. All right, do it. If you'd simply minded your own business as I ordered, this wouldn't be necessary. 
But now, your fate is sealed. Could you? God will never forgive this sinful behavior. <laughs> you certainly do like to prattle on, Father. Take him to the dungeon. Chester, <laughs> you're doing well. I leave the rest in your capable hands. You honor me, my lord. I shall find the statue here without fail. This shit is crazy. So now we're kind of stuck down here, and now I can't get to, uh... Now I cannot get to Redmond. And now we're in one of the best music areas of the game. I don't remember which way to go, either. The good news is I can always go... Ow. Okay, right, that thing can hit you. Uh, huh. So yeah, the good news is we can always go back here. Hit that and refuel our uh, HP. Because <laughs> yeah, we're going to be down here a while, trying to get our way out. So yeah, Chester tried to do us, give us the uh, Darth Vader fucking treatment. Ah, I still managed to get hit by that freaking fire thing. Wow, Chester gave me so much XP, I almost fully leveled. But at least these things you can trap up in here, unlike the owls. They're not too bad. I think you can jump. I think you can end up off these things. Oh, there's nowhere to go down there. All right, whoops. Uh, can I go down this way? Now Seraph just has to remember how all this works. Oh, well, I like leveling. But I think this just does damage. Nope. This does go somewhere. That. Okay, well, I like money. I think jumping here or falling off here does result in bad things. Let's not fall in here. And fall, I think. But maybe I should do it anyway just to see where I end up. <laughs> okay, let's see what's out this way. Ah, right. Okay, now I, I'll need to fall to get out, but I needed to do this. Okay, well, at least I remembered. Acquired Fireworms Amulet. I have no idea what that does. Oh, it's an accessory. Scale from a fireworm allows you to wear to wade through shallow lo- Oh, wow, we got this already. Yes. Cool, so yeah, that's an accessory we need. That's our first accessory. <laughs> and uh, obviously for a place like this, that's super important. Okay, now we can fall. And we land here. The swarm. Of course, these guys will kill me fast if I let them, oh my God. Okay, run, 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 <laughs> run from them. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Ah. Jesus. Now I need to hope that these guys drop health items here. No, no. Yeah, those things are great for XP, but fuck do they fuck you up super fast. So, no, Seraph, don't die here. 
Let's see if I can get back to that save point. Uh, I don't think this is where I wanted to be. Oh uh, shit, nope. I did not want to be here. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I am probably gonna die. Unless you guys can give me some health items now. Okay. No, no, no health. None. None. That's cool. Not a single one of you is giving me health. Fuckers. Is this the way back? Oh, this is the way back. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're saving that. Because we definitely need the freaking amulet. I so thought we were dead there. Okay. So we went right. And that... Alright, so we led, we went right and that led to that one area, but I can't get to anything further this way because I can't jump over there. And then if we fall, we end up all the way down in that area, so we don't need to do any of that shit yet. We already got everything we needed to down that way, so I think we're good here, right? There's nothing else to do this way. If I keep going down that way... Oh no, there's... No, this is a different area I'm thinking of entirely. Okay. Nope, different area I'm thinking of entirely. Okay, we don't need to worry about that for now. Oh my god, can you imagine if we had died right here, so close to the healing spot? That would have been awful. So back this way. Oh. I don't even know if I want to go this way. Let's see what's down here. I don't really remember where any of the important shit down here is. I mean, it's a miracle I got that fireworm necklace, because that is critical. I kind of lucked into that. I still don't really remember any of the layout of this. Okay, so I need to make sure those don't hit me when they're doing that shit. This is important later. Can't do anything there. All right, but we'll remember this is here. We need to come back to this much later. No, oh, I hit that button by accident. What a waste of a boost. It'll charge back up again in all due time. That's basically left and then down. And this leads us to this fun. I don't think there's anything else to do over here. Because this is where we land and this is where this swarm of shit shows up. Stop. Oh, it's just Ravalor. Ow. Damn, this guy's hit so hard. Fuck. Now, I think I generally remember the way up here, you know? This way. Here we go. Right? No, we go this way. Give me health, give me health, give me health. Okay, so we did everything pretty much to the right and down. Now we go left. Sure, I'll keep that XP. <laughs> Not like we need ink ribbons or something like in some other game. I lose progress if we don't have to. Nick me. I don't want to fight near that. So let's head left. I need to kill these guys, but I don't really want them harassing me the whole way from the air. 
I can help it. So let's go up. Doesn't really ma seem to matter much. Ow! Hey, okay, vile assholes. Fine. You want to fight? Want to fight? We can fight! <laughs> Now, because we have that amulet, we can go in here. We wouldn't even be able to survive in here, or we'd be taking shit tons of damage. Damn. So many of these little assholes. Fuckers. Damn, we need help, man. Come on. Alright, so let's go on over here. Thank you. Alright. Don't remember really where I'm going, so let's try over here and see what's doing over here. Do you think I need to go down? part those things I don't remember being too bad as long as you don't let them hit you but for the most part you get a warning when they're charging up their attack so for the most part you can avoid it pretty well but oof if it hits you you're in for a world of, ha world of pain you okay. right Health. Here we go. Good. Okay. I remember something being worth all of this fucking trouble. All the way down here. Well, levels are nice. What the hell is down here that is worth this sheer amount of bullshit? I think if we go up, that's where uh, one boss is. But if what's down, if, 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 I, if I'm remembering correctly, what's down here is something that's going to make that boss fight a hell of a lot easier. If not required. In fact, I think it's necessary. Oh shit, I need to see you down here. Appreciate the help. Yep, there's a treasure chest. Yep, okay. So this has got to be... I don't think I can get to that. It was. Oh god, alright. Okay, we're now in the depths. This might not be a good idea. This is where we fight this boss. But I think we get the item that we need to defeat it right over here. And yeah, if we didn't have that amulet against shallow lava, we'd be dead. And if I drop in any of those holes, we still take damage. This is where Seraph finds out if this is a completely heinously stupid idea yep what we need so now we got the ventus bracelet we get wind magic baby so you've come this fucking guy it would seem you've acquired two of the powers of gems i cannot simply allow this to pass uncontested the blazing jaws of hell itself shall consume you.
East does love their, uh... Now, I think... Yep. Okay, I can switch between it with the uh, left button. I do remember being able to do that, but now... get going fast enough, apparently. <laughs> Not like taking some damage right off the frickin' bat. Ow. Yeah, I hate this. This blows. Ow. 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 <laughs> no, no, he's just gonna run. Ow. Oh my god, I'm taking so much damage. Right, you just need to be away from him while he's doing all this flaming shit. Oh my god. I do not remember this. I do not remember how to kill this guy. I think I have to go after the back of it. He's back in there. Yep, this sucks. This sucks a lot, and he's so fucking fast. Come on. I don't really remember. Oh, God. He's doing more of that shit, and there he goes. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I'm uh, about dead, and he is gonna kill me, and that's how this goes. Okay, if I'm ahead of him at least, it seems to mitigate the fire. Ow. Ah. Okay, I'm far away from his possible. Nah, but I'm dead anyway. <laughs> yeah, right? Full Vajja from uh, Ocarina of Time. Yeah, this this boss is hard. And you know what? This isn't even the hardest boss down here. The boss after this is even worse than this fucker. <laughs> We're going to retry this one more time, I think. But other than that, I may... Um, this might be a good place to stop and try to beat this at the start of next stream. But let's just try. Let's try and do this next time. And let's see if, uh, let's see if I can do it. See if I can have some better success at it next time. Yeah, that's the key here. Let's not let him do that firing complete bullshit the whole way through. Although I do, I've done next to no damage to him. Stupid. That was stupid. I should not have taken damage there. I shouldn't have been anywhere near that. Ah, come on. Put out the fucking fire. Shit. Ah. <laughs> this is such bullshit. <laughs> I hate this so much. Uh, there he goes. Oh, he's gonna go over there. Well, maybe if I'm over here, I can at least see it coming. Oh. 
person registers after. Come on. The problem is I'm just not doing enough damage to him. I probably need to level up. I probably need to farm another level though too, because I'm I'm just not even remotely doing enough damage. And that does happen with this game. If you're not leveled enough, the bosses just wreck you. You just don't do you just don't do enough damage. I mean I think I'm hitting him in the right spot, but Granted, he's not really doing all that much damage to me, but, um, each pass. It's the problem is I'm not doing enough damage to him, really. Let's see. Okay. Don't jump. That's the key there. So part of it is I was making my life difficult by jumping. That you jump from. Goes in there. Okay. If I'm patient enough, I could do it. Come on, buddy. And we go. Ah, I went the wrong way. That's a shitty place for him to come up. Yeah, it was a shitty place for him to come up. You have to put out those fucking flames, but it's easier. Damn it, it's out of magic, and I didn't realize it was out of magic. And now he's off of there. Yeah, we're almost dead, and we've only taken off about a third. A third if I'm being really generous of his health. That was a good hit. No, that was not where I wanted to be. Get away from that. Okay. But yeah, now we're about to die. Unless I get the timing of this exactly right each and every time. Jump, damn. I think this is a good point to go back to the title though. <laughs> Uh, I do think gaining a level, and what I may do is, uh, between streams, I may just go back into the main area and not collect any items, but I may just get an extra level or two. So we do a little more damage to him, and it's, and it's not as, um, and it's, it's a little more forgiving in the, in the timing. It is possible to do at this level, as you can see, but you have to get everything perfect each and every time, and when he only needs to hit you a few times and you need to hit him, like, 50 times, hmm... Not exactly the greatest experience, but I kind of knew that and looking at the time, I think uh, it was worth it to try it. But luckily we saved right before that. So it worked out. But that was a good start to Oath of Filgana. Yes, as Deep Fry pointed out, this game does have a reputation for being uh, a little difficult. <laughs> uh, as you can see, but again, you can you can make it possible by just um, by just leveling up a little bit. If you, if you farm, then the bosses become a little more possible. And even when you're properly, le and at this point, I think I went straight to it, which was the problem. The game assumes that you're going to be wandering around a lot, killing a lot of monsters. So if you're underleveled, it punishes you for it. <laughs> uh, and I think that was the case here. So not not a big deal. We're, we're saved in the right spot. Uh, I'm going to level a couple of times before we play this again. Most likely, uh, the plan will be here. Let's uh, let's get to the ending stream part, because this, this is a good place to stop. We've been playing a good three hours. and that, gives you a good first intro to uh to all of that so and there's our last alert music which we still haven't listened to because when we beat the game the rom crashed <laughs> oh that was funny so uh but in any event let's get started let's see if there's anybody on at this hour probably not but we'll look anyway um uh, looks like Aussie is on. You know what? Let's raid Aussie. Man, she's got a lot of people on uh, this hour. A bunch of people on Sea of Thieves. But yeah, let's uh, let's raid her. And uh, in the meantime, do a quick channel update here. So we get this all set up to go here. And um, so yeah, uh, I will be streaming again on Tuesday night. And I will be streaming Battletech. We may end up beating the game 
on Tuesday night because we're we're pretty close to the end. So it is it is possible. I don't know if that's in the cards, but that's going to be the goal is to finish the story campaign as of uh, Tuesday night. And that would be that would be a nice start. So uh, or that would be a nice that would be a nice goal for that stream. Uh, and then we can get to playing other games. We'll see whether or not I play. I continue to play Battletech or not, because there are uh, flashpoints that we can do with that. And that would be really nice to do. Uh, so I don't know, but there are so many flashpoints. Um, I'll make that decision uh, when we get there. But in any event, we are all prepped. I want to wish everybody a great week. And I hope you all had a great weekend. And until next time, ciao.